Hi, this is Kate from Windy Apps User Support. I'm really glad you made it to part two. Yay! This video is on how to compare the forecast from all available models for the spot. Watch part one to see why we need it. So I've opened a spot and you can see the list of available models for the spot. This one is somewhere in the USA. You can compare all forecasts from all available models on one screen. If you select a certain hour, you'll also see wind directions and gusts. It will get some getting used to, yes, but give it time and it will become your favorite feature in the app. Well, at least that's what our analytics show. Each line corresponds to wind speed from a particular model. You're in luck when all lines are huddled together. This means that all models agree on what the forecast will be and there's a very high chance they're right. If the lines are far apart, this means it's better not to trust the forecast if the stakes are high. But you can still draw some valuable information from it. For example, you can prepare for the worst case scenario. If you see high winds, you might want to close windows or anchor your boat. If you see no winds, it might be a good idea to find a bar to wait it out. You get the idea. The lines on the compare chart will also show you the range of possible conditions. They'll give you a good idea of what minimum and maximum values can be expected. In other words, if the compare chart looks like spaghetti before they're cooked, that's good. If they look like a toddler has been messing with them, be careful. You'll notice that the further into the forecast, the messier the compare chart will get on any spot. This happens because the reliability of the forecast drops by a few percent every day. Our advice is not to bet your money on the forecast that's more than three days long. The same applies to the precipitation compare chart, by the way. To see it, just scroll down from the winds compare chart. Okay, so we've covered how one can compare all available models for the spot. Please watch part three to learn how to choose the best model for the spot. 